Hey everybody, my name is Carolyn. I'm the owner of Folks Natural Living, which is a skincare and wellness business. And for my business, I do a lot of research into natural ingredients. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the research that I've done into two butters, Tukuma and Murumuru butter. So the two ingredients that I'm sharing with you today are sourced from the brand Rainforest Chica. And the owner actually goes herself to Brazil and gets the ingredients straight from the producers. So I wanted to see how these ingredients performed in a recipe. So I made two different cold blended butters, which are basically the same, but the only difference is that one has Tucumã butter and the other has Murumuru butter. The other three ingredients in both the blends are tamanu oil, prakashi oil, and mango butter. I made the butters present at 20% in both the formulas. Now I'm gonna show you some clips of me making a, the cold process butters, and I'm also gonna talk about the different properties of the butters. And then I'm gonna compare the two in the formula as well as how it feels on the skin. So Tukuma and Murumuru butter are almost identical in fatty acid composition and they are similar to coconut oil being that lauric acid is the highest percent of fatty acid. And lauric acid promotes antimicrobial activity. That's why you hear a lot of good things about coconut oil being antimicrobial. The second highest fatty acid in Murumuru and Tucuma butter is myristic acid, and then followed by oleic acid. And myristic acid is anti-inflammatory, and oleic acid is moisturizing and helps the skin maintain its softness and flexibility. So both Tucuma and Murumuru butter are called vegetable silicone for their film forming capabilities. And this is because they are both high in saturated fatty acids. Both lauric acid and myristic acid are considered saturated fatty acids. And they are occlusive and protective, so they're really going to form a film over the barrier of your skin and protect it from any sort of environmental damage, such as the sun, cold, wind, and dryness. The biggest difference that I noticed when working with these two butters is their softness. And this is due to their different melting points. Tukuma has a melting point of 30 to 32 degrees Celsius, and Murumuru butter has a melting point of around 33 degrees Celsius. And although this is not a big difference, it does make a big difference in the actual butters. Murumuru is a much harder butter and Tukuma is a soft butter, more like shea butter. And so I found that Tukuma was much easier to cold blend. Towards the end of the video, when we compare the two different final products, you'll see how the hardness of these butters affected the consistency of the blends. I decided to cold blend these products because tamanu oil and prakashi oil are heat sensitive. Tukuma, murumuru, and mango butter are not heat sensitive, so you can warm blend if you want to. Now, Tukuma and murumuru are actually very heat stable, as well as coconut. Remember, they have very similar fatty acid compositions, and so they're very similar in the way that they can take a lot of heat. Lauric acid is found in a lot of tropical butters, so it makes sense that Tucuma and Murumuru butter are stable in high heat. And this is because in their native habitat, the environment is high heat as well. Thank you. 
Along with the different melting points and hardness of the butters, I also noticed a different aroma. Chikumo butter had a very sweet and light smell. It was caramely, but it also had some like fruitiness to it. Murumuru butter was sweet as well, but it had a more heavier nutty smell and earthy smell to it. Right here, I'm having to chop and apply a lot of pressure for the murumuru to blend in with the mango butter, which is unlike tukumon butter, which was much softer and easier to blend in with the mango butter. Prakashi oil is another ingredient found from the Amazonian rainforest, and it's often used to treat hyperpigmentation and scars. Research was done with Prakashi oil in a topical silicone base for different scar and wound therapies, and they concluded that Prakashi oil is likely to improve wound and scar attributes in pediatric and adult patients, and I'll go ahead and link that study down below for you guys. Tamanu oil is one of the first oils that I purchased when I started making skincare, and it's honestly one of my favorite. It has such a rich beautiful green color and it has a nutty smell to it that some might not like but I really like it. But I love to use it in formulas because it has so many good therapeutic properties. It is really anti-inflammatory and a good healing agent. It's really great at regenerating that skin so anything with scars or wounds this is a great oil for. Here is the two finished products. It's 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and the Tukumon butter is slightly runny, but it's still very thick. And then the Murumuru butter is thick and not runny at all. The product with Tukumon butter absorbs really quickly into the skin, and I didn't find it to be greasy at all, and it was fairly lightweight. The blend with Murumuru butter was definitely thicker and held its shape more when I moved it around. And I definitely noticed that on the skin too, it felt a little bit heavier and it didn't soak into the skin as quickly as the Tukumon butter. So Tukumon butter definitely has a faster absorption rate than Murumuru butter. And I noticed this definitely left a much shinier sheen on the skin than the other blend. And you'll see that in a minute when I compare the two hands. Alright guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys have ever used Tukuma or Murumura butter or what you thought of this video. Alright, you guys have a great day. Bye.